Hi everybody, today we're going to be making chicken, leek and mushroom risotto. First of all, you need to make sure you have washed your hands for at least 20 seconds hot soapy water, clean apron on, your hair tied back, um, remove any jewellery and all your ingredients and equipment out ready to start. First of all, you need some chicken stock and you need one litre of chicken stock that you put into a saucepan to heat up so that it's nice and hot when we want to add it to the rice a little bit later. Make sure you put the lid on and put it on a high heat to bring it to the boil. The next thing to do is to prepare your chicken and your vegetables. I'm going to do the vegetables first so I can do this on this chopping board and then the chicken last so that we don't cross contaminate. The beauty of this recipe is you can use whatever is in your fridge. I'm using leek and mushroom because that's definitely part of the recipe but if you don't like mushroom leave it out. Um, if you don't have leek you could just use onion. So it's a really good switch and swap um, recipe. I'm also going to add in mine some broccoli and a carrot but you could also add cauliflower, capsicum, whatever you can find in your fridge you can throw, throw that in if you wish as well. To cut up the leek, the first thing you need to do is just cut off that big green part and set that aside. We won't be using that today. Then you cut off that root end and also set that aside. It's handy if you have a scrap bowl on your bench, you can put your scrap straight in there. I'm going to cut mine in half and separate all this out. And I'm going to wash it and wash really well. You can see there's bits of dirt in there. Wash all that out really, really well before I dice it up. Now that it's washed, I'm just going to slice it through like this all the way to the end. Place that all into a bowl and set that aside. With the mushrooms, you can see there's a bit of dirt on them, so I'm going to rinse them in the sink and then just pat them dry with some paper towel. So with the paper towel, just give them a little bit of a rub and a little bit of that skin might even just come off a little bit and that's fine. Once you've dried them off, we just slice them up. If you wanted to make this risotto a red vegetarian option, very easy just to omit the chicken. You could add more vegetables, more mushroom, um, whatever you like. You could add tofu if you wanted to. Place the mushrooms into a bowl and set them aside. If you're using the carrot, you can peel it, trim off the ends, don't forget to use your scrap bowl and we'll dice it up. So I'm just going to go thin strips this way. Put the flat surface down and then Thin strips this way, and it sticks. And then back this way. And into a bowl, and set it aside. Then for the broccoli, rinse that in some water first, and then chop it into little flour. With the broccoli, you can trim some of that stem and you can still use that. Then just break it up and just break it up into those little tree pieces. Then with our garlic, peel it and you can grate it finely on the microplane grater or you can just dice it up with a knife. Totally up to you. Just watch your fingers. and a couple of sharp cuts to get it off. Next I'm going to dice up my chicken breast fillet. It's going to trim off the tenderloin off the side and trim off any of these pieces here which are a bit gristly um, and a bit fatty. Once you've cleaned it up then just dice it into sort of bite-sized pieces. If you're not using chicken, as I said, you could use tofu instead and just the same thing, just cut it into bite-sized pieces.
make sure you wash your hands and then get out another bowl and scrape your chicken into there. Please make sure you wash your chopping board and your knife really, really well that you've just used. The next thing I need to prepare is the thyme leaves. I'm using fresh thyme leaves and you just draw backwards and get those leaves off. Um, it'll take a couple of minutes and you'll need a few stems to do that. Um, if you don't have fresh thyme leaves, you can use dry thyme leaves. Just remember to use half of what the recipe says if you're using dry. I have about two teaspoons of thyme leaves there ready to go. Completely optional, but if you'd like some dry white wine in your risotto, it adds a really nice flavour. You can leave it out though and just add a little bit of extra water instead. I'm going to use about a quarter of a cup. You also need some parmesan cheese to serve with the risotto at the end. In the recipe it says 20 grams. I love parmesan cheese, so I'm going to do a little bit more than that. And again, you just grate it on a microplane grater or on the small side of, the, of your cheese grater. You also need two lots of butter. You need about 40 grams for near the beginning of the recipe when you're first cooking the rice. And you need about 20 grams at the end to stir through. And finally, you need some lemon zest. And we'll just stir through this at the end and that adds a beautiful flavor to the risotto as well. The first thing we're going to do is cook the chicken. I'm going to put in a little bit of oil and a touch of the butter. When that's melted, we'll add the chicken. Put your bowl in the sink so that you don't put your cooked chicken back into that same bowl. Have a clean bowl handy so that you can put your cooked chicken in there. Make sure it's on a high heat so it sizzles and it cooks not all the way through so it doesn't dry out, but till it's pretty much all white in colour. This chicken is going to be put back into the risotto later, so it will, this will need to be cooked completely through. And I'm going to now take it off the heat and put it in its bowl. Wipe out the pan and then you can cook the leek. I've just heated up a little bit more oil, adding the leek. And I'm going to add a little bit of salt into the pan with the leek. Once the leek has cooked for about two minutes and it's just starting to soften, you can add the mushrooms and the garlic and that cooks for another two minutes. Once the mushrooms are cooked, turn off the heat, place into a bowl and set it aside with the chicken. I'm now going to transfer my stock into a measuring jug so it's easier to add a little bit later. It's very, very full. Set that aside. And you also need one cup of Arborio light rice. And in this big saucepan, I'm going to heat some oil. I've preheated the pan. And I'm going to add the rice to the saucepan and heat it for one minute. I also added the rest of the butter. And I am now just coating the grains of rice with the butter and heating it for one minute. The next thing to add is the wine, and you want to cook that off. So that you cook off all the alcohol in that wine, but you get that nice flavour. Then we gradually add the stock. Just a little bit at a time, and this is put it on a low heat. And this is where you need to be patient when making your risotto. And you cannot leave the stove top. So you stay here and you stir and you watch the rice. And just as soon as that water has evaporated or the stock has evaporated, you just add a little bit more. Now this process should take around 20 to 25 minutes. If you rush it, your rice won't be ready. 
Now, if you have a look at the Arborio rice grain, it is short and quite a thick grain of rice. Okay, and that will provide you with a really lovely creamy risotto at the end of it. So just be patient, put some music on and just keep doing this until it's al dente, until your rice is nice and soft. Now just remember this needs to be on a low heat. If it's too hot, the water or the stock will evaporate too quickly. Um, and if it's not warm enough, then obviously it'll take even longer. So it needs to just be bubbling softly, gently, and then just add in bit by bit, just a little bit of stock each time. It's a good idea to set your timer for the 20 or 25 minutes and check it after 20 minutes. If it's not ready, make it go for a little bit longer. You should use all the stock. If you run out of stock and your rice is still not ready, just add a little bit of extra water. I'm at about the 10 minute mark and as you'll be able to observe, the rice granules are starting to swell. Now this is called gelatinization. So what happens is the starch in the rice begins, the molecules begin to break down. And as that happens, the rice is then able to absorb the water, which is what causes it to swell and makes it nice and soft for us to eat. Now at about the 10 minute mark, I'm going to add my carrot and then that's just going to cook straight in there. Okay. Then at about the seven minute mark, I'll add the broccoli. My risotto now has about seven minutes to go on my timer. I'm going to add the broccoli in and stir that through. It's worthwhile having a taste of a rice grain at this stage and you'll feel the still has a crunch to it. Okay, give it a go and then you'll understand how much more time it will need. A bit more stock and it definitely needs more time when I just tasted it. Make sure you press down any grains that are sticking to the side of the saucepan and banging off the wooden spoon as well. My risotto now has about two minutes to go so I'm going to add the rest of my stock and I'm going to add back in the leek and the mushroom and I'm going to also add in the chicken. The chicken will have some juice. I'm just going to leave that out because I don't need that extra liquid. I will keep it aside though, just in case I decide I do need it. Stir that through and then give it the last couple of minutes of cooking time. Check the rice again, have another taste and see if it's al dente. So al dente means that it should be soft but with a slight bite to it. Okay, my timer has gone off. I'm going to add now the thyme, the little bit of extra butter, that will make it nice and creamy, the lemon rind, and not all, but some of my parmesan cheese. I'm going to save some to sprinkle on top later. Stir that through. And then I'm going to turn the heat off and let it sit for 10 minutes. While this is sitting here, the final absorption of the liquid will go into the rice and you can start doing a clean up and get ready to serve up. My risotto has now been resting for 10 minutes. So I take the lid off. And I'll give that a stir through. Looks absolutely delicious. Serve it up. You could also have spinach in this as well if you wanted to. You could put corn, peas, just a huge variety. Hey Google, stop. Sprinkle with some black pepper and some parmesan cheese. And that is absolutely amazing. Very healthy, nutritious, and a really delicious meal. Have a great day, everyone. Enjoy your risotto.